Hey guys, it's Carly, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Hong. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm sorry for not being really active and having any videos up. I've been away, and then I've been sick most of the week, and I'm just getting around today to feeling a little better, and it sort of sucks, because none of us want to be sick in the summer, and especially I have maybe about three weeks left of vacation until school goes back in which I'm sort of dreading, but yeah. So I recently just finished The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han about a week ago, and I have to say it is the best book I have read in a long time. Like I read it in, I have to say three, maybe four days, because I just, I couldn't put it down. Like I had to tell myself, no, save it. I don't want to end within two days. It was just, it was so well written and the scenery and that like it was the perfect summer read like set in a little beach town through the whole summer it was the perfect thing to read when my family went to the beach or just sitting out on the deck by the pool so that was one thing i really liked about this because i find it hard to find summer books that like keep your interest like some of them are those fake summers that don't really happen in life but this was like this was a typical teenage girl summer that I think we can all relate to in any ways possible. But it was definitely the best thing ever. So this is a contemporary read. It's the first book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. And it's a really good summer read, mostly because it's set in a place called Cousins Beach, where Belly, her brother Steven, and mom go with family friends every year for as long as she can remember. And her mom's friend, Suzanne, has two boys, Jeremiah and Conrad, who Belly's been in love with Conrad since she was 11 years old, and she's 15 in this book, turning 16. But the whole time, she Conrad never really notices her. It's sort of like they're just friends. Like he thinks of her as the little sister that she is to Stephen, because they've known her for so long. But we're really, she's just in love with him, and it makes her a really good read because you see her points from now and her points of view from when she was 11, 10 years old, and all these things that he's done that made her fall in love with him. Now, what Belly didn't know was that she was gonna meet another boy, Cam, who fell in love with her, and she fell in love with him too, where at the same time, she can't really let Conrad go. Like, to her, it's, he was the first person I fell in love with, and she doesn't wanna let him go in case he ever falls in love with her. Whereas Conrad never sees her or really notices her, Jeremiah is in love with Belly. So it's sort of like a love square. You have Belly, who's in love with Conrad, who doesn't notice her. But then you also have Jeremiah and Cam, who are in love with her, but she doesn't really notice it. She does know, notice Cam being in love with her, but Jeremiah, they're the same age, so they're just, they've just been best friends forever. A lot of stuff happens that summer that makes her want to make this the best summer ever. Her brother's going to university in the fall, so he leaves early with their dad to go look at colleges and misses her 16th birthday, which to her is a big deal. And of course, they ha you have Conrad and Jeremiah's mom, Suzanne, who's suffering with breast cancer, and the ca cancer has moved to different parts of her body. So there, and the boys, the parents are trying to keep it away from the boys to know that their mom's not sick, like she's fine, it's a normal summer. But Conrad and Jeremiah figure this out before they even tell them, because they can just tell how their mom's always in her room and isn't as happy as she used to be. When, when everything's just falling apart in Bell, to Bell, when, when Belly finds that everything's just falling apart, the only person she can really turn to is Jeremiah. Conrad's facing all this by himself and dealing with it his own way. Steven's left and Cam, Cam doesn't really understand everything that's going on in Belly's life. So, with her and Jeremiah just sort of hanging out one night, he tells her things that sort of makes her think makes her think about everything that she's ever thought in life, if being in love with Conrad's the right thing to do. But it really, she wrote this in such a good way, especially since you have like here, you have chapter five, don't know. you have chapter five where you go ahead and chapter six is age 10 
So I love how she does that because every chapter where she's a different age, if it goes back in time, it's basically saying something that because this happened in the last chapter where she's 15 from right now, she's talking about this or like she remembers this moment. Well, the next chapter is that actual moment, not just a memory of it. So I really enjoyed that part of it. And one of my favorite was just like, was just the way everything happened. Like, it's sort of, we all have those moments in life where something's happened to someone in your family or you like someone, but someone they, that person doesn't like you and you're trying to deal with that all and figure it out. Where she's gone, deals with all this too, sort of trying to keep to herself. She knows she shouldn't be upset. It's not her mom that's sick with cancer, it's Jeremiah and Conrad's. But because their families are so close to her, it may, it's just as hard for her as it is for Conrad and Jeremiah. And she feels bad about that because she's feeling like, this is their mom that's sick, not mine. I still have mine. And both their families have gone through a lot of stuff. And it just sort of brings the kids closer all summer. And eventually it brings it for her to finally, she finally decides, okay, I think I should tell Conrad, but she doesn't know if she wants to. So when her and Cam sort of have a fight because she says something, but then he's questioning her if he if she actually loves him or if she's just using him to get make Conrad jealous. And she doesn't really know how to answer this because both are true. She wants to make Conrad jealous where she also loves Cam, who's the first boy who's actually loved her and recognized her before now when he showed up just there at a speech house down the road from them. One of my favorite parts in this book is any part that is either at the boardwalk or at the beach because so much stuff happens and there's so much emotion at the boardwalk and at the beach and the way Jenny Han captures it all in her writing it makes those moments just seem real like you can picture them so vividly in your in your mind that you're like I need to be there like this is the best thing ever. One of the other things in this book that I found was really interesting was for part of it, it was Deli sort of flashing back to when her friend Taylor came up for the summer. She want, They wanted to be together for a week at Cousins Beach and Deli was really excited, but it sort of all goes downhill from there. Taylor comes, but Taylor's heard all about Jeremiah and Conrad. So when she finally meets them, she falls in love with, Con, with Jeremiah, which Deli doesn't like at all because Belly deep down does like him a little, but she doesn't really know know that for a while until like he tells her, look, I like you. So it sort of goes with Belly that whole summer from when they're 13 to sort of being ruined. It was the first time she wore a bikini and Taylor was all into the makeup and feeling pretty where Belly was on the swim team. So she didn't really care about the makeup and that. She just wanted to have a nice summer. To me, it feels like Taylor sort of has put their relationship sort of where they are now in the book because especially since in parts of it there's Taylor and she went back and forth between the three boys so that sort of made all of them cautious of Taylor and it made Belly like them even more and one part that I think really made Belly upset was a part when her when Taylor and her brother Steven were caught kissing on the beach and to her, that was a big deal because her brother's always hated Taylor, is always complaining about how stupid and how annoying she is. So when Belly sees that, she feels betrayed by her own brother because her friend just came, ruined her summer, and just sort of ignored her and just went after Conrad or Jeremiah. She mostly went after Jeremiah, but then eventually she was like, I want Conrad instead. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, I like the nice, happy books that I don't really have to think through. That I read them and I'm like, okay, I know it's going to be happy the whole way through. No one's dying and any of that. And that's the kind of book I like to read in the summer. And I also like one where I can just lay out in the lawn or on a beach and just read it. And it's not not a really heavy book. It's sort of, it's just a nice light read and just really well written. And that was especially why I loved this book. One of the things that caught my attention when I picked up at our bookstore was really the first like page and a half. So I'm going to read that to you now. And this is the part that it actually made me laugh out loud in the bookstore. 
causing a lot of people to stare at me really weird. And I just sort of looked at them like, do you have a problem with me? Because they, they haven't met us. They don't know what books actually do to our lives. They ruin them, they make them better. It's a whole cycle of what books can do to your life. So I'm gonna read the first part that really caught my attention and I really hope it catches your attention and makes you go out and buy it. The part I'm gonna read is the part that I read at the store and made me just laugh out loud and I picked up and was like, I just need to get it now. We've been driving for about 7,000 years, or at least that's how it felt. My brother Steven drove slower than our grandma. I sat next to him in the passenger seat with my feet up on the dashboard. Meanwhile, my mother was passed down the back seat. Even when she slept, she looked alert, like at any second she could wake up in direct traffic. Go faster, I urged Stephen, poking him in the shoulder. Let's pass that kid in the bike. Stephen shrugged me off. Never touch the driver, he said, and take your dirty feet off my dashboard. I wiggled my toes back and forth. They looked pretty clean to me. It's not your dashboard. It's going to be my car soon, you know, if you ever get your license, he scoffed. People like you shouldn't even be allowed to drive. Hey, look, I said, point at the window. The guy in a wheelchair just laughed us. So that part I found pretty funny, especially the look, the guy in the wheelchair just laughed us. The way like you sort of just in that little bit of the book, you get a really good picture of Belly's personality and Steven's. And it sort of just gives you the feel for the book. Like it's gonna be like this the whole time. I highly recommend if you like a good contemporary read, but not one that's too, um, too lovey-dovey stuff and it's just a nice happy beachy read that you want to read on the beach or just you want to just sit in a corner and read I highly recommend this series or at least just the first one even if you don't want to read the series just read the first one and that and I'm telling you you will fall in love with this like I am so glad I picked this up when I did I've heard good stuff about it and I thought you know what I'm gonna try it so I stood there read the first page started laughing out loud and I was like, okay, I'm getting this. And I went up to the cash and bought it and then I went and looked at other books. I bought it then went back. That, that's what I do. It was so good and there was only one left. So I had to go buy it then. I don't know, I really, I was that happy when I found it that I went and bought it and then I went back and bought more books. So that was my book talk on The Summer I Turned Pretty and I really hope you enjoyed it. This. I hope you buy this book now, or or even get it in the library. Le tell me in the comments below if you read it, or if you plan on going out to buy it. And if you did read it, what were your favorite parts about it? And are the other books in the series good? Because I'm going to go out and get them for sure. But let me know what you thought of this book, or if you've only read the other ones, tell me what you think of those. 